So he knew in the two hours that he spent, like I said in the impact statement, he knew what he was taking and it did not deter him in any way, shape or form because he is a monster. An animal. Yeah, well, I love animals, so a monster. <laughs> I don't know what to say other than this has been a horrifying ordeal. I wouldn't wish this on any family uh, from start to finish, a missing person to, you know, looking for an accused for 10 weeks to waiting for a verdict, a trial. It's just been really, just a really exhausting, long process. And it's, uh, it's nice to finally put it behind us, but, you know, it feels in a way like it's putting tests behind us too, but, you know, it's, I'm just glad, I'm just glad he's off the streets now too, and nobody else can be hurt by him ever again, ever. I'll make sure of that too. He will never get parole, ever. He did make eye contact with me, and he's, there was nothing, there is no human being within the flesh and blood that stood in front of me. Nothing at all, hollow. And you know what? He'll probably survive in, in a prison system. No doubt about it. Well, Just because he's, he's, there's nothing there. You can't hurt nothing. He did not shed a tear or show any emotion nothing. whatsoever. Not it was a cold, a... blank slate of a human being, a shell of a human being. Yeah. The judge noticed that. Yes, yes. And he mentioned the judge it. mentioned it. Not, not somebody that you want on the streets anyway. I mean, sadly, Tess had to give up her life to catch a monster. But we got the monster, right? Okay, guys.